In this tutorial we're going to look at the objective function and see how we use it to solve a linear programming problem. An objective function is a function that we wish to maximise or minimise given the constraints that the problem is set under. We looked at how to give a graphical representation of those constraints in our last tutorial when we looked at the feasible region. So what does a linear program look like when we have a objective function in it? Well this is the problem the way we saw it before when we had to construct the feasible region for those four, sorry, those three inequalities. What we have when we have an objective function is a function which we either want to maximise or minimise. So in this case we want to maximise the function P which could stand for number of people or the profit and we could stand for anything and 15x plus 8y. And what we're actually trying to do is find out any points which are in our feasible region which satisfy that function and we want the ones that give us the maximum value. So what are the steps that we need to go through to solve our problem? Well the first thing we need to do is to construct the feasible region using our constraints, our inequalities. The next thing we need to do is to find the coordinates of each of the vertices of the region because we know that the maximum or minimum is going to lie at one of these points. We then substitute each of the pair of the values that we get from the coordinates of these vertices into our objective function and then we pick the point that meets the purpose of our objective function. So if it was to maximise the objective function, we take the point that gives us the maximum value, the highest value, and if it's to minimise, we pick the point that takes the lowest value. So here is an example problem. We have our constraints, the three inequalities, and the objective function that we wish to maximise. So the first step is to construct the feasible region, which we did in the previous tutorial, and we've got it here. I've just added in the labels A, B and C, which are the vertices um, of our feasible region. So the first thing we need to do is find the coordinates of each of those points. And A is at 3.38 and 0 0.77, and we can find that by solving the simultaneous equations 5y plus 4x equals 20, and 2y minus x equals 6. In a similar manner, we can find that b equals 4, 5, and that c equals 4, 0 0.8. We now substitute each of these x and y values into our objective function, p equals 15x plus 8y. So at a, we see that p equals 53.78. At B, we can see it's considerably better at um, 100. And at C, we can see that P equals 66.4, which is better than A, but not as good as B. So the solution to our problem is that it has a maximum value of 100 when X equals 4 and Y equals 5. I have included a worksheet with questions for you to practice and you can find a link to that worksheet in the description below. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Stay in Infield with Winfield.